FNAF has been a pretty popular indie horror game since 2014. From FNAF 1 to FNAF 4, I will be listing all the secrets and easter eggs from all these 4 games. Enjoy. Yes, I'm gonna be a monkey for this video. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. That is pretty insane because in my last video I was thanking you guys for 3,000. Which, it is pretty insane. Like, I cannot thank you so much. Like, I, like, I cannot explain how thankful I, I am for you guys. Like, so yeah guys, how do you like the, the fit? How does it look on me? It looks kind of, like, see this? Yeah, so I'm gonna be a monkey for the whole video. So I might not show my face a lot in this video because this video is gonna be full with clips of the secrets and the Easter eggs of the FNAF games. So yeah, once again, thank you guys for 4,000 subscribers and enjoy the FNAF 1 to 4 secrets and Easter eggs. FNAF 1. So we are gonna go from the most known to kind of the least known. If you click on Freddy's nose in the poster, you can hear it honk. Once in a while, you can hear Foxy sing. And if you head over to Cam 1C, it gets louder. Now this is where it gets a little creepy. If you die in the game, and once it's game over, a spine chilling image of Bonnie without his eyes randomly pops up for a few seconds, and then the game will go back to normal. Now there is a few spots in this game that have to do with the it's me. If you head over to cam 1c and if you see the curtain is wide open that means foxy is out and the sign says it's me when it originally says sorry out of order. There can be flashing lights of Bonnie and Freddy where it also says it's me. On cam 4A on the right wall, you might remember it being pictures of the animatronics, but instead it's a big writing that says, it's me. On the same wall, you can see pictures of kids crying, so I'm not sure what the meaning is, but it sure is creepy. On cam 1A, it is rare for Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica to be death staring you from the camera. Now this next one is nightmare fuel. If you head over on cam 2B, you might see something pretty chilling. Sometimes you can see Golden Freddy in your office, and you will hear a creepy laugh. He could also pop up on the same poster that I mentioned before. Once you beat Night 7, you unlock Custom Night, where you can customize their AI level. But if you type in 1987, you get this. This might have something to do with the bite of 87, but most people say it's because there was a secret ending, but the creator Scott Cawthon said it was not true, and decided to add a jump scare when he typed in those numbers. FNAF 2 When you started the game on PC, you might see these images. Take a look. If you head over to Cam 8, and once every animatronic in that room is gone, you might see Shadow Freddy. However, you can't see another Shadow animatronic, Shadow Bonnie, but his name is actually RWQFSASCX, which I'm not sure if that has a meaning to it. Once you see him in your office, and you stare at him for a couple seconds, the game crashes. 
Once the puppet is out of his music box, you might see something in the prize corner, which is located in cam 11. Here you can see the endoskeleton. It can also be seen inside the vents. Now here is something really creepy. Sometimes you can see JJ staring at you from under the desk. How creepy. Once the puppet is out of the music box, you might see hallucinations of the puppet on the cameras. FNAF 3 On PC, when you start up the game, it is rare that these spring trap scenes will pop up. If you look to the left in the office, you might see Shadow Freddy himself. To your left of the office, you might see the Bonnie Paper Pal, which is weird because in FNAF 2, sometimes it's not there. To your right of the office, you might see Chica's cupcake on the desk. On Cam 10, you might see a Spring Bonnie poster. You also might find another one on Cam 2. Very rarely, you might see Golden Freddy's head on the camera. So you see the outline of the map, right? If you flip it upside down, it is actually the outline of Scott Cawthon's profile picture, also known as the creator of FNAF. Before the game came out, Scott uploaded a teaser for the game, and when you brighten it up, you can see Springtrap. After you beat Night 6, I think, you can see a newspaper telling you that the place burnt down, but if you brighten up the image, you can see Springtrap. So there's a couple of secret mini games that you could play during the game. If you go to Cam 8 and click the Balloon Boy poster, it will take you to his mini game. One other one on Cam 7. I know it may be hard to see, but there is buttons on the arcade machine. If you click the buttons on the top left, then the bottom, then the right top, then the bottom, you will go to Mingle's minigame. Another minigame can be accessed if you click all of the Phantom Cupcakes on camps 2, 3, 4, and 6. You go to Chica's minigame. There is one more. So in your office, there is a keypad right there. And if you click 395248, you go to Fredbear's minigame. Okay, one last one. If you go on Camp 3 and click the puppet poster, you go to Puppet's minigame. FNAF 4. If you listen closely, you can hear distorted audio of a radio. However, this isn't just any random audio. If you play the audio in reverse, you might hear something you might recognize. In the main menu, you can see Fredbear on the top left, and Bonnie on the bottom, and Foxy on the right. If you turn back to your bed, there might be some objects that will randomly appear. When you shine your light on the right door and see Chica move back, there is a light moving across the window. This could be animatronic eye running across, or maybe it's just Chica's reflection. So you see the picture frames on the room wall, and the left hallway wall, right? Well, these are actually pictures of Scott and his family. After you beat Night 3, you spawn in the minigame, where you walk out of Fredbear's family diner, then you walk back home, then once you go back home, then you stare at the TV for a couple of seconds, a little show called Fredbear and Friends will pop up. Once you beat Night 2, you spawn in Fredbear's family diner, then once you get stopped by someone in a Fredbear costume, and you walk back, then you look back, you can see Purple Guy putting a Spring Bonnie costume on someone. 